Face your fear. Where's my, where's my three people? Ugh. Wow, come on, messages. Uh, I need to yell at Paula first. Uh, where's my messages? Here we go. Natalie? Carrie? <laughs> Puerto Rico. Whoa, whoa. Puerto Rico. Whoa, whoa. All right, so here's my dilemma. Maybe you can help me understand. If I tell you how to lose weight, how come you ask, can I have a tomato? Why is that a question? Angela, how's day three? I don't understand. If I'm saying, <laughs> eat this. I've had this entire long ass conversation with this person and she says, can I have vegetables? What, what do you mean? She goes, can I add vegetables to my meal? Can I add fruit to my meal? For example, can I add tomatoes or fruit to my salad? What, whatever you want. I don't understand. I don't understand. This person, she doesn't even eat close to a thousand calories. She could have pizza, she could have bananas. I don't understand what people are thinking. So I have like a really hard time to be calm and just answer yes. I can't do it because I don't understand why that's a question. Mayo, mustard to my, I had egg, egg rolls today. <laughs> Help me. Anyone? Anyone? She doesn't eat. So if I have to give my opinion, I think some people have a bad relationship with food or they have a, or they fear food or they have previously could have been anorexic, they could previously have been bulimic, whatever. There's an underlying issue that they're not sharing and then I can't help with that we're talking about somebody that uh, you you know you don't know someone in the app someone in the app is asking me if she can have vegetables and fruit salad so maybe she's scared of food yeah I don't get it so what if you're not hungry? What if you're not hungry? It's, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not hungry, you're gonna store fat. If you're not hungry, then you're not moving your ass. You're not active enough if you're not hungry. You're not moving your body. I do cardio 15 hours a week. Yes, I do cardio every day for 90 minutes. Yeah, good. Lizzie, you're hungry? Let's see, Lizzie, why are you hungry? Lizzie, if you're hungry, we're increasing your calories. You shouldn't be hungry. So it sounds like you're finally, no, she's Jamie. She's Texas Jamie. The other Jamie is local Jamie. <laughs> That's different Jamie. That's my Jamie. <laughs> That's my favorite Jamie. <laughs> That's my sister Jamie I've never had. <laughs> oh, good. You almost puked after the 30 minute workout today? Ooh, I like to hear that. <laughs> it's not funny. I like to hear you almost puked. Okay. So, 
If you're hungry, let's change your calories. You're gonna go into the app. You're gonna change your activity level to the next one. Light, active, okay? You need to eat more if you're hungry. But let's see, egg whites, peanut butter, okay. Are you eating breakfast as one meal? Let's see, I see why you're hungry. Are you eating that breakfast as one meal? Okay, you, you gotta split that shit up. That's way too much food for meal one. You need to make meal one. If you, do you love, do you love meal one? Okay, so you don't put your egg whites into the oats, do you? So here's what that looks like. My, okay, so my um, half a cup of oats, half a cup of oats makes half a cup uncooked makes one cup cooked. So half a cup raw becomes one cup cooked. Half a cup raw is for my brand is 180 calories. So one cup uncooked is 180 plus 180 is 360. And that makes two cups cooked. So what do you got here? I wanna make sure you're, you're tracking correctly. A hundred grams. Okay, so 45 grams, 45 grams is almost a hundred. So it's a hundred grams uncooked or cooked. Uncooked, okay, okay. So if you're gonna eat uh, two cups of oats, that's a lot of food. So how about this? How about you, do you make it hot or cold? Hot, okay. <coughs> mm. I'm thinking, because if you could, can you can you um, try cold tonight? Can you try making it my way? for tomorrow, and if you don't like it cold, you can put it in the microwave and warm it up. How's that? Okay. Trying to get something on TV here. Yeah, I should go uh, YouTube. Okay, so you're gonna do 100 grams uncooked. You're gonna do two scoops of Formula One. 
that's in meal three. Two scoops, so one uncooked uh, oats, two scoops with your peanut butter. Mix it up. Um, try three ounces of liquid, and if it's it's make if it's too hard to stir, add a little bit more water and make it four ounces of liquid. Try that. Then tomorrow morning, you're gonna weigh your banana. You're gonna cut the banana in half. You're gonna cut your oats in half. And you're gonna put the banana on top. No egg whites. So that's your meal one and two. Does that make sense? So I basically took meal one and two, created no egg whites. Your egg whites are being replaced by two scoops of formula. Oh, I didn't know you stepped out. Did you step out from our meeting? You need to, if you're gonna step away from our meeting, you have to tell the conference table that you're stepping away from the meeting. <laughs> okay, so meal one, meal two are now combined in one big mason jar, okay? And now you have two meals. Since you like meal one, now you're gonna like meal one and meal two will be the same. So meal three is lunch. So your meal four that you have in the app becomes meal three, because that's lunch. Okay? Then your meal five becomes meal four. That's the snack. Meal five. I don't know why you just don't follow my meal plan. Because my meal plan does not look how you track your food. So, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> Did you, are you done eating for today? Can you do me a favor and can you, can you edit this thing? So, um, can you edit this thing so it's a little bit, more like looks like my meal plan. So for my meal plan where it says buckwheat, it says chicken. Yours says protein. I'm good, Christina, how are you? Have you started following my meal plan? Lizzie, if we look at my paper for my food, and your food, meal five says chicken and the carb. Yours says protein and uh, a carb. So, I wanted to move your food around because you're saying you're hungry. You're not supposed to be hungry. I think it's how much you're eating at certain times, so you're hungry. You're trying homemade applesauce in your oats. Wow. Are you making the homemade applesauce? Just FYI, there's nothing wrong with pre-made unsweetened applesauce, just in case you don't feel like making it homemade. There is sugar. There's sugar in homemade applesauce.
Well, that's what I'm saying. Do you want to? Do you want to just change your? Do you, did you hear what I said? How to change it? I know you don't add sugar, but aren't you using apples for your homemade applesauce? How many apples are you going to use? Unsweetened applesauce nutrition. So half a cup for next time, if you don't feel like cooking, half a cup of unsweetened applesauce is 50 calories. And 12 grams of sugar, no added sugar. So if you feel like having that in your oats again, I'm just giving you an easy option. The only reason I'm giving you the easy another way is because Karina hates to do a lot of work. So you do you, I do me. We do fitness together, but you do you, however you do you, and I do me however I do me. So just saying, if you get bored and you don't want to cook, and that's easier to track, yes. The pre-made applesauce that doesn't have any sugar is easier to track. Is your applesauce healthier? Sure. Does it make a big difference in calories or weight loss? No. So if it's easy, I do it. If it's not easy, I don't do it. Again, you do you. I do me. How to lose a double chin, work out, and stop eating like an asshole. So that's what I wanted to talk about. So it has come to my attention that people keep asking me how to eat more protein, how to get rid of a double chin, how to lose belly fat, how to lose weight, how to make salad, how to add more protein, how to, you know, what do I think about intermittent fasting? how to, forgot my list, lose arm fat, how to, whatever you wanna throw in there, people always ask how to get rid of something. What's interesting about how to get rid of some kind of fat or how to lose weight, which is also getting rid of fat, okay? People always ask, how to get rid of, but no one ever considers how to become stronger, how to add muscle, how to do biceps, how to um, season the food to make it healthier, how to make a delicious protein shake, how to Make sure that you shit every single day. 
how to add more fiber into your diet because you're not shitting, how to wipe your ass because you're having trouble with your own butt. So you need to know how to wipe your ass, how to get, my, get yourself to the gym, how to build strength in the upper body, how to bring your own ass down to the floor because you want to play with your grandchildren but you have bad knees and so you can't sit on the floor. Nobody asks those questions. People only ask how to get rid of something, not add something good. They only ask how to get rid of, right? So I find, find that a little bit interesting that what women don't understand is your insecurity is so high. Your, um, uh, how, do I, how do I say this? Let me try and show you. I think when Micah came over to me when I was working out this morning, that was a perfect example of why women asked me if they could have something. You remember when Micah came into the room? Did you hear him? So, if you're able to grab a chair and get down to the floor and make your ass touch the floor and then get up again, you should make that a priority in your ex exercise routine. If you can sit on the couch and watch TV, Murray, do you sit on the couch and watch TV? Are you sitting right now? We require our kids to ask. So that means these women are kids who are asking. So basically that habit has been created since, what, five years old? That's deep. We should smoke a doobie. Let's smoke a doobie. So we more insightful, deep conversations together. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Or we can play uh, squeeze your muscle. Squeeze your muscle. Build strength in your uh, wrist, your hand. Boop, boop. Squeeze your muscle. Other side. One, two, three, four. Other side. <laughs> right. Wait, so yours is mobility. I go down and up. When you say you go down and up, do you sit your butt down on the floor and then get up again? My video is downloading. How was your day, Jenny? Have you worked out yet? Highlands Ranch. Hello. Are you who I think you are? Don't say it. Just say yes or no, okay? Because <laughs> I'm in New York. <laughs> Hi, how are you? We're gonna start next week as soon as everybody gets their bands. Did you get your bands? You try 10 times each side. So what you're saying is you get down, 
Oh, treadmill, Jenny. Good. Yay. Jenny, make sure you're huffing and puffing. So does that mean you use your right side to get down on the right cheek and then you get down with your left cheek? Lizzie, did I lose you? I hope she's still changing her uh, app. Right side to get up, then left leg to get. Oh, got it. You can't touch my knee. You don't have to touch. Your knee should not touch the ground when you're doing lunges. If you see me, if my knee touches the ground, I just lost balance. I do cardio for two hours a day. Angela, me too. Angela, did you weigh in today? I know, it does look like I'm touching. I'm not touching. You should look up on YouTube, proper form. Thank you, Lacey. I work out for six hours a day. Join me. I'm kidding. Um, okay, I'm just downloading the video from this morning. Oh. Angela, did you lose some weight from this weekend? You sound happy. Okay, as soon as this video downloads, I'll look at your meal one. So, for your last meal six, where it says formula, next to the wheat, can you change that to chicken? Ooh, a pound. Woohoo! You're doing it. It's funny we say sound and text. Ooh, Jenny, you're down? Jenny, did you finally stop eating jam? All right. <laughs> Good job. See? Sometimes it just takes like good 45 days to listen to me scream and yell until you hear yourself. Right? Most women don't hear themselves. One of my new clients, I talked to her for an hour yesterday. We went over everything. I said to her, any questions? And she kept saying, if I just have a plan, I will stick to it. I will know, I will do it. I'm the type of person that sticks to a plan. Okay, what did she eat today? Sausage. And then she was asking me, can she eat Herbalife products? Are Herbalife products on the plan? Is sausage on the plan? So I talked to her for over an hour. How does that happen? If, if someone says, I will follow the plan, but then they're eating sausage, or jam, or cheese, or bacon, then that's not the plan. How is there confusion? I'd like to read up on the mental state illness block that goes on with food. Go read it. Jennifer, I'm not holding you back. Go read it. But it's your own mental state illness block. It's your own mental illness. So what are you gonna read? Someone else's blog that they wrote about themselves? 
Or should you study your own head? Here's how I see it. If I said to you, tomorrow for breakfast, have eggs, oats, and peanut butter. Oh, oh, you want, you want to read? Oh, yeah, I do. It's on my Instagram. It's my mental. I call it mentalism. It's my mental illness of how I feel about food. So here we go. Addy447. I'm going to help you. Addy. When's your birthday? I want to make sure you're not sensitive so I can call you. When's your birthday? I don't know what May May what? Go. Oh. She could be a Gemini. May unless you're saying May 1st. May 5th. Okay, I'm gonna call you. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello, hello. I think you're the first person who got the hello part on the first try. Hi. How are you? Thank you for joining my remote control coaching sessions. So you'd like to lose 100 pounds. You're saying you don't know where to start. You want to lose 100 pounds and you're tired of being heavy. Okay. How old are you? How old are you? And is it safe to say you live in Texas? You're 40. Well, happy birthday, you just turned 40. So it sounds like you don't know what to do with yourself because you just turned 40. So you've been overweight for 15 years, 20 years. How many years have you been overweight? Six years, six years. So you gained 100 pounds in six years? What caused a 100 pound weight gain in six years? Okay, sorry to hear that. Are you still dealing with the feelings of infertility? This is hot, I'm gonna put it down. Okay. Oh good, so you had a rainbow baby. Congratulations. Is that your only child or do you have more children? Okay, well, congratulations, seriously. I have never had that situation. However, I'm familiar with the feeling and I'm sorry to hear that, but congratulations on the rainbow baby. How old is the baby now? Six. 
So, seven. Okay. I think you would agree that if you have had an unhealthy newborn, that would be difficult to receive the news if the child was born unhealthy and you would have to take care of the child for the rest of yours or the child's life. Would you agree? So losing or having a painful situation, regardless, is still a mental loss. Do you agree? So infertility causes mental sadness that caused you to eat because you feel like it's your fault. If you didn't do something at that time, then maybe you wouldn't have lost If you hadn't gone to work that day, then that wouldn't have happened. So you're guilty, you feel guilty. And food is to the rescue. Okay. And what kind of food do you go to for rescue? Fried and sure. Okay. So, first of all, you need to write a letter to the infertility time. So you have a better understanding that that wasn't your fault. And that it's a blessing infertility happened because now you have a healthy rainbow baby. So now you have a beautiful child who's seven who needs you. So if you're over 100 pounds, you're now punishing yourself for infertility, which is very selfish for your rainbow baby who needs you. you. Instead of enjoying your child and being healthy for your current child, you're poo-pooing yourself and being a selfish BIT to the current situation. And you keep looking, you see behind me? You see the window behind me? That window will never be in front of me. That window is behind me. I can't move the window. I hate the window behind me because the TV is in front of me. So the lighting ooh, is much better this way because there's another window on the side. Now why the fuck am I comparing a window to your past? Because you can't change your past, just like I can't change the position of that window. So you learn how to accept with what you got and be grateful. Because the longer you keep poo-pooing that window, the longer you're gonna be depressed and overweight, which will only hurt your current child. So, don't be selfish. You with me? You wish you did more? Okay, all right, let's talk about wishes. I wish to be a veterinarian. I'm not a veterinarian. I wish to go and not be bullied in my past. I can't take that back. 
So again, you keep dwelling on the past, you can't change the past, you can't change what you wish for. You need to accept the current situation because yesterday is over. So the more you live in the past, the more you're gonna hurt your present and your future. I wish I lost weight 25 years ago and not in my 40s. I wish I had taken care of my kidney disease when I found out about it when I was a little girl. I wish my mom wouldn't have died, but she killed herself. I wish my dad wouldn't have caused a car accident to take his life. I wish I let my dad drive me across country when I decided to leave my abusive parents. I wish for a lot too. So it's your choice, okay? Number two, I wanna be stronger and get in the habit of doing better healthy. Okay, I know you lost and you will be lost. After this free phone conversation tomorrow, you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be fucked for the rest of your life. You are. And the sooner you admit that to yourself, the faster you will not be lost. So, if you're lost, you will stay lost. Or you can choose to find yourself. So, you ever get a, you ever cut your finger? You ever get a paper cut? It hurts so bad. You, what do you do? You get a paper cut, you scrape your knee, you're bleeding. What's the solution? <laughs> That's why I need you in my life. That's exactly, see, there's my people. There's my people, Band-Aid. That's my people. See, now I know who thinks like me and who needs a Virgo in their life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what a Band-Aid, boom. Those are my people, Jamie. <laughs> Team Band-Aid. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God, I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh my God, <laughs> literally, I mean, you like took the words out of Jared's mouth. It's like you're one person. It's like he's here. And then um, skin, skin new, skin whatever. <laughs> okay, for those of you who's a Band-Aid, <laughs> that was my answer. <sighs> When you put a Band-Aid on your bleeding finger, besides the cleaning is not what we're, where I'm going. Whew. So you get a Band-Aid, you put it on your bleeding finger. Did you stress out? Did you go get fried food? Did you go get sugar? Did you stress? Did you go to the pantry to heal? the finger and your mind or you just put a band-aid and move on oh, okay so you just put the band-aid and then after you put the band-aid the finger healed right and then did you get another cut a month later? Did you bleed again after you fixed this one bleeding situation? Did you have another one that needed a Band-Aid?
<laughs> but, but mate, you're 40, of course you did. We don't need a Band-Aid one time, we need Band-Aid over, over, and over. You with me? So, next time you're needing fast food or whatever sugar because you're stressed, what are you? Stressed, depressed, what's causing you to eat like an asshole? Depression, stress, anxiety, what is it? No, it's not lazy. Lazy is not a feeling to go get fast food. Bored, okay, you're bored. Okay, let's try bored. Why are you bored? You're a 40 year old human. Don't you have a job? Don't you have laundry? Don't you have to clean your kitchen? Don't you have to remove weeds from your grass? You have nothing to do when you're bored? You have to know what you're bored of. You're bored of what? Bored of your life? Bored of your husband? What are you bored of? So you're asking me to help you. How can I help you if you don't even know why you're bored? Or if you don't even know why you're going to the pantry or why you're going to f eat fried food? Or Lizzie, why you're bored and anxious? You're bored of the lifestyle. I don't do so much and nothing for me. Oh, you do so much for other people. So you're bored of your lifestyle that makes you take care of other people and no one's taking care of you. So you want someone to take care of you? <laughs> My one, I text you. Okay. Well, it kind of is. It is. It is. I'll tell you after. It is. Um, you want to do it for myself. Okay. So, you want to do it for yourself. Got it. What do you think you have to do for yourself that will help you not feel drained? I'm taking True City, walking. I don't know what True City is. Sounds like you should stop taking some drugs. I am not familiar with any prescription for weight loss. I don't believe in them. I don't use them. I don't suggest them. If you're not losing any weight, Simple answer is you're eating like an asshole. Your pre-diabetes medicine, you're eating like an asshole. You're taking a medication to lose weight, but you're not losing weight. So you think you can eat whatever the fuck you want. And so therefore, it's not working. I love the idea of working out and eating healthy. But when I get bored of it, the new idea, I go back. Why do I do that? Well, there's one answer why you do that. 
You're a mammal. You're a mammal. You're an animal. Why do animals have multiple female companions? That's why. Because humans are not meant to be monogamous. Why do people have four husbands, five husbands, four wives, five wives? Why do people in uh, whatever Utah who believed in who believe in having six wives at the same time? That's why they're human just like you. Why do you like to buy new shoes every once in a while? Why do you like to change up your hair? Change up your clothes? Change up whatever you watch on TV? That's normal. What's not normal is how you treat yourself afterwards. That's not normal. Did you have a boy or a girl? Oh, wow. 530 calories and it's 54 minutes. So you have a girl. Okay. Are you going to teach her to beat herself up when she says, Mommy, I'm fat? What are you going to say to your daughter? Mommy, why do I keep trying to do my homework, but then I stop and I fail the class, Mommy? Why can't I get an A on the math class, Mommy? What's wrong with me, Mommy? Susie, who sits next to me in fourth grade, she keeps getting A's, Mommy, but I'm not. Why? Why, Mommy? Go. Why? Why can't I get an A? Why? What's wrong with me, mommy? I'll wait for you to respond. I'm your daughter, go. Oh, practice? Okay, let's practice. Great, let's practice. Mommy, it's been three weeks. I failed another test, mommy, why? Why, mommy? It's been three weeks. I practiced. I think I did better, didn't I? Why did I fail again, mommy? Why? Susie keeps getting A's. Mommy, why? Mommy, why? Why, mommy? Are you going to help her? Okay. Okay, do you know what to do now? Do you know what to do now? Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> oh my God, mommy. The science class in fourth grade. The science class. Why is the science class so hard? Why is that? Mommy, I failed the science class, but Susie is so smart, she skipped the grade. Why, Mommy? Why? It's been four years. Why? Go. Ah, I got a bone to pick with you, bitch. Uh-huh. I got a bone to pick with you. You're not tracking? Yeah, I looked at what you're eating today, and there's nothing there. Why? Week three. Week three. You know who you are. You know. You know. 
You know who you are. Ugh. Okay, please. Drink protein shakes. Drink protein shakes. Drink protein shakes. Are you feeling okay? Okay. Addy, one more time. Addy, one more. Mommy, um, so it's my 18th birthday and nobody likes me. I went out with this guy, Jimmy, and Jimmy didn't like me. Last week I went out with Nathan and Nathan didn't like me. Now Jimmy doesn't like me. How come no one likes me? I think Barbara is going out with Jimmy. No one likes me. Why, mommy? Why? It's been 18 years and I'm still struggling, mommy. Struggling. First math, science, chemistry, prom, and now Jimmy. Now do you understand what the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is wrong with you. <laughs> Mentally ill. That's what I call it. Mental illness. And that's what I do with my fitness coaching. Not fitness. You wanted help with fitness. But you don't have a fitness problem, do you? You have a mental problem that has nothing to do with fitness. Nothing. Because you're 40 years old and you damn well know that chicken and broccoli is healthy. You know to go outside for a walk. You know to go lift weights. You know how to do it but you're mentally ill and you don't believe in yourself. That's the problem. Your mental illness or mentalism, okay? How you think and feel and control your head. That's what I do in my one-on-one -on -one coaching which is very difficult to do any other way when I don't hear the other person share their truth like you just did. Most people don't share their truth because they don't want to hear like how you just shared. Oof. Well, Paul, I'm sorry to hear all that. You gotta stay hydrated at least stay hydrated if you, you know, oh, that's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't have time to be around the bush. We all have a bush. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't beat around, beat around it. So I sell a body shaper. I sleep in the body shaper. The reason I sleep in the body shaper is to control my mind. The body shaper holds me tight and gives me love and compression and a feeling of some sort. When I put it on and it hugs my body, I feel instantly better in my head. I sleep in it because it makes me feel better when I wake up in the morning. I feel happy in my head. When I feel happy in my head, I'm then happy to follow the included meal plan. 
When I follow the included meal plan, my body loses weight and reshapes. When I feel happy and good in my head, I then go to work out because I'm already feeling good. Consistency is when you do this every single day. Even when you're feeling like shit, you put the shaper on because now you don't feel like shit. It takes five seconds to put it on and not feel like shit. No, I wish I had daily videos to watch, but I can't talk to myself. So your problem is to know how to keep your mind straight now that we've accomplished that. You want to hear me every single day to help you. Me too. But I now have a new problem. I have conquered my mind. I have fixed my body. It's never gonna be fixed, okay? I'm not 100% happy in my head or my body. I, you have to do this every single day. Just like you tell your daughter, keep going. You, if you fail a test, you study and you do it again. You fail a test, you study and you do it again and you do it again and you do it again, right? So it's very hard for me to create this when there's no one to talk to. There's people who are really good at podcasting and there's people who are really good at creating YouTube videos and they sit and stare in a camera and they have a topic. I'm alone. I don't have an assistant. I don't have a producer. I don't have a cleaning lady following me around. I don't have a videographer following me around. I don't have a photographer following me around. I am, I'm just me. This is it. So in order for me to create daily videos, I need an audience. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know how to be comfortable to be like this when there's no one listening. Does that make sense? I have a hard time talking to myself. You just showed up, thankfully, and you wanted help, and you gave a topic, you allowed me to call you, and then look, an hour just went by, and everyone who was on here got this help. Now, I can download this video and I'll post it to YouTube so you can listen to it again tomorrow if you want to listen to this exact same content, right? So that's my new problem. My new problem is I've grown so much and have learned so much. I became a personal trainer. I became a fitness coach. I got certified in nutrition. I study nutrition. I'm now obsessed with helping women because I see how much better I feel and how much value I do give to someone else. But now my new problem is, why are people unfollowing me? Why does Susie have a million followers and she doesn't even fucking help anyone? Why don't I have uh, 50,000 YouTube subscribers? So yes. It's very difficult to stop comparing yourself to other people. It's hard to constantly just be like this and not see outside. It's not possible. So when I see these other people, I have to, be, I have to fight my own head now. So maybe I'm not overweight anymore. <laughs> maybe I'm more positive when it comes to my body food. I finally controlled that situation, but now I have a new problem because you bleed. You bleed, you put a band-aid, you bleed, you put a band-aid, you bleed, you put a band-aid. The blood spot changes. It might be this finger or this finger or this finger or an elbow. Right? So 
It never goes away. You are never gonna be Zen, <laughs> okay? If you heal one part of you, you will create a problem someplace else. That is what human people do, just like dogs. They hide a bone, then they go find where they hid it. They hide it again, and then they go try and find where they hid it. I used to take my dog's bone, she would hide the bone behind, the, she passed away. She would hide the bone behind the air conditioner, and then I would take the bone away and put it someplace else, and she'd go back to the air conditioner outside and be like, I know I left it here, where did it go? <laughs> okay, that's, that's human. Just like, you know, you, you, um, you know, this is fat. Bye, I'll see you tomorrow. You can't spot reduce, like you can't choose where to lose fat, but you have fat all over your body. You can't choose where this disappears. Sometimes it'll disappear in the belly. Sometimes it'll disappear in your arms. Sometimes it'll disappear. There's always gonna be something new you wanna change. There's always gonna be something new you wanna do. You with me? So that's my new problem, is I would love to do more videos like this. My problem is, I prefer live so I have like a topic or an audience. And then number two, I don't, like you're uncomfortable with choosing how to start to lose weight. You know how, but in the back of your mind you're like, but what if that's not the right thing to do? Well, I have that too. I want to do more of this, but what is the first thing I say in three seconds to get someone's attention? with their mind like should my TikTok say are you mentally ill <laughs> here's how <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's my block we all have some sort of block does that make sense we're never gonna win with with nothing there's always gonna be something does that make sense and I just did 603 calories. Yeah, well, uh, so two people didn't show. And then Paula said she's not feeling well. Paula was my drama. Paula, you were my drama today. Me too, hugs, hugs, feel better. Thank you for stopping by even though you're not feeling well shoot me a message tomorrow Ow. <laughs> i was thinking of you today hmm. get some sleep So there was the drama. There was no drama. Um, <clears throat> two people bailed on me. No. <clears throat> no, we're not doing that. It's not a setback. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. You caught a bug. <clears throat> That's not a setback. Go sleep it off. I'm going to see if uh, they at least roll back. Sleep it off, babe. Okay, all right, girls, I'm gonna jump off, go shower. You're welcome, you're welcome. So I don't even know how to tell you how to start a plan. If you want to try and follow my actual plan, I'm rewriting one of my plans that's going to have more mental stuff. My, it's going to talk about mindset because I'm realizing in the three years that I've been coaching, majority of the people don't want fitness help. Like I said, they need lifestyle mental help. It's really hard to create like an ebook because you're going to change every other day. You need to keep track of how long 
um, it takes. If you want to be my guinea pig, I'll take it. I'll take my guinea pig. If you're going to keep track of how long it lasts before you flip. I thought it was three days. So I have a meal plan that's three days. I give you a meal plan and you follow it for three days. And after three days, you don't follow it. And then you go back and you follow it again. Because I think it's three days. That's, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, th shit, three days. Yeah, it's three days. Jamie? So Jamie and I have been doing this together since last August. So she's changed her mentality. If you, Okay, she left. She usually leaves. So she and I both have changed um, our heads because she and I have been literally doing this side by side for a year. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, Addy, you can email me, coachmekarina at gmail.com. You could also, if you want videos like this, then you can leave me a comment on TikTok. If you leave me a comment on TikTok with a topic, that helps me create the video that you are asking for because then I know I'm talking to you so that makes me feel more comfortable right does that make sense just like I'm comfortable right now talking to you because I'm not just <laughs> staring at a wall <laughs> so I you need to focus don't you you should not focus on one thing or another you should just focus on how to be a normal, happy human, whatever that is for you, whatever makes you happy. Stop trying to lose weight. Stop trying to, should I do this or should I do this? Stop all of that and just focus on some kind of healthier choices. So start recognizing your feelings. Start writing down how you feel. Stop trying to restrict yourself from something and start trying to gain something. Like um, go to my YouTube channel and work out with me tomorrow. You know, you have to find your rhythm of what you like best for you rather than what I think you it needs to be what you think you know what I'm saying what do you think that's what you should do whatever you think that's what you should do and not ask anyone else that would be the best thing to do because usually people scroll 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 and then you're just like Woo! I don't know what to do. I've scrolled for so long and I now I'm even more confused than I was before. Okay? All right, I'm going. So I will see you tomorrow night. Well, I'll be on tomorrow morning with cardio. And then I'll be on tomorrow. So I'm on live every night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And as soon as my app is finished, I will be live in my app and I'll, I'll do a lot more mental things in my app because I, I will know who's, who's there. And I think that will also make me feel more comfortable because people are going to subscribe to my app to hear this stuff. So I will know I have to do it since people are subscribing to hear it. Because when you do things for free, some people take advantage of it and don't use it. And if people don't use the stuff I create for free, then I lose it and hide 
and then don't want to help people who don't want to be helped. Does that make sense? <sighs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Cleaning kids, playing with knives. Okay. So that's it. I do have an eight week challenge starting. If you were interested, you could message me about it. I can tell you what's included. It's, it's like this. It's more of a mental challenge than a fitness challenge. And that starts next week. So there's two, two price options, depending on your budget and depending on what you'll need and what maybe you don't need. So you could message me. <sighs> and um, so I'll tell you what it includes. Zoom calls. Zoom with me every week. Uh, you'll have my phone number. You'll get a meal plan. You'll get like everything. Okay, here's my kids. Here's my kids um, supply list for school. And you're, so basically <laughs> what you're gonna get from me is gonna look like that other than it's not gonna be <laughs> a supply list for school. It'll be a supply of things for mentality and fitness. <laughs> so what I do with my eight week challenges that uh, Jamie just did and she lost 11 pounds is, how do I explain this? We use fitness tools to shape the mind. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna have you do certain fitness things. I'm gonna have you do a certain exercise to shape your mind. It's just really hard to explain because I you have to do it in order to understand. It's kind of like um what is there in life that people don't understand until they do it? Kind of like can you experience Europe without going there? No. So it's like that. Yes. Where's Gavin? Uh, he should be in his room. Uh, let me sh try and show you. I don't think I can really show you this, but I'll try. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Here, this is you. Oh my God, that was so creepy. Wasn't that creepy? Okay, so this was my workout this morning. Sure, can we help me my orders? Okay, wait a second. Uh, for now. Did you see that? What? I'm 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 talking to the girls. Did you see Mommy, did you the only way to put this 
Okay, we're done. Mommy, can I can I just finish saying what? I'm, can I finish saying what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I finish? Then you can talk. No, no. Can I finish? Can I finish saying what I'm saying? Can I finish? Then you can talk. No, no. Can I finish? Okay, I'm gonna finish. Then you can talk. Where are you on? Um, yeah, I'm live. Yes, oh. yes, I'm live. You, you're still wait, talking. Are, are you gonna talk to them and then not be live? Listen, you're still talking. I want to finish saying what I was gonna say because I'm gonna forget, like you, and then your turn to talk. So, did you hear how he asked, "Can I have that?" So, when it comes to mindset and mental. What you're going to learn in my eight week challenge is to stop being a child. Does that make sense? Because you keep asking someone, can I eat this? Can I do cardio? What is the best thing to do? You keep asking because you are still a child because your mom had made you ask her, can I have this snack? Or can I have this? Or can I go here? Or can I go there? So that's the habit you created. Well, she created for you that you're creating for your children that I'm creating for my children because we want them to ask. That's where that comes from, in my opinion. Just saying. Okay, girls, hopefully I helped you somewhat. I gotta go. This little monkey now needs me. And I will see you tomorrow night. Okay? Bye.